Hi, good day. This is Raghava Kashyapa, CEO of Qualitas Technologies. And today, I have, uh, I'm very excited to share with you uh, something unique that we've built. So as you know, Qualitas Technologies is a solution provider that specializes in machine vision and AI. And we use computer vision and AI to solve complex applications when it comes to manufacturing quality control. So I'm really excited to share with you one such machine we've built because one of the things that we do is we take challenging projects which are unique, difficult, and then we apply engineering principles right from image acquisition all the way to image processing using AI. So a machine vision solution requires images, right? So you need to capture images first and that's where image acquisition comes in. And then you have image processing which takes those images and processes them using software to come up with some kind of decision or some you know, judgment on that images. So let's take a look at one example that we have uh, developed. And I am actually not the best place person to explain this. So to um, help me explain this particular machine, I'm going to bring in a colleague. So uh, hi, Vignesh. Hi, Rago. Thanks for uh, that introduction. I am Vignesh Suvarna. I am working as application engineer here in Qualitas. I am responsible for end-to-end -end execution of uh, machine vision related projects. Today I will be explaining this machine and how, it, how the solution was develop, developed for this particular use case. Um, okay Vignesh, uh, so thanks. So wh what are you holding in your hand? What is this? So this is basically, uh, you know, most of us might not be knowing, this is a fiber optic spool and this is a fiber, uh, you know, which is used for our telecommunication purpose. So most of our data transmits through this one. Got it. So this is a fiber optic Correct. and it's wound in a spool and there's a bunch. So how, how many, uh, what's the length of a typical spool? How many uh, kilometers? Yeah, do we... Typically a uh, spool varies from 2.1 kilometers to 52 kilometers or sometimes up to 70 kilometers as well. But this particular spool is somewhere around 32 kilometers. 32 kilometers. Yeah. So this, this is housing 32 kilometers of fiber carrying. So I would imagine that, you know, it's quality is a pretty important factor. So what are, what are some of the defects that we need to identify here? So in this particular use case, you know, we have two parts uh, in this fiber optics pool. One is the flange itself on which the fiber is wound and the fiber. So we are uh, inspecting for two regions. One is the flange and the fiber, as I told you. And in, in fiber, we have multiple defects, such as these dust particles, which we can see. So these are the undesired uh, dust particles, which should not, should not be present in this fiber optics pool. And also we can observe there are some loose fibers. So these, these are also not recommended. And along with that, we can observe that, you know, there is some bump, bump in the winding. Okay, know, so it's not situation. evenly wound. Yeah, right? it's not evenly wound. Okay. So basically when uh, it's unwound, that might lead to damage. some problem or some damage. So that is un highly undesirable. Okay, and, and on also the flange? On the flange, uh, basically there are defects such as, you know, the scratch, as you can see, there are some ob observable scratches here. The residue of the previous, uh, you know, the, the basically these spools are recycled and the residue of the previous stickers are also okay. deposited here, which can attract dust. So this is also undesirable. So we have to inspect for this one as well. Along with that, if there is any manufacturing defect or any damage that is caused, uh, you know, in the transportation or something, then we are allowed to identify that as well. Got it. So uh, as you can see, the, the, the challenge with a complex part like this involves um, viewing the part across multiple angles. We have the flanges on the side. We have, you know, the uneven winding, which, you know, requires you to look at the entire spool surface at maybe two different angles. Then we have particles on this across the 360 mm -hmm. degree cylinder, which requires you to be inspected throughout this 360 degrees. And of course, the outer side, the mm. two sides of the flange. So there's also different colored spools, different designs. So it's not only um, having different lengths, but it looks like there's different colors and there's also different flange colors, yeah. right? So the system has to adapt to all those different color combinations along with uh, the variation mm. in the lens. So there is lengthwise variation and also in terms of color. Color well. variation. There is okay. A huge variation. So let's pick up one of yeah, these. You can pick so up any one of spool, those. And then I take this and then I place it on the machine. Yeah. Uh, all right. Simple you enough. Just have to simply press and the I got to hit the green button. So here it is. Looks like it's rotating and indexing it. How many? 
positions no, are there? Typically, it indexes 24 times. You know, at every uh, indexing, we are covering 15 degrees. 15 degrees, okay. So, so 24 into 15 is it 360? It becomes 360 degrees. So, there is no blind spot in that case. Mm. All right. So, now, so we have three cameras on the top and then two on the side. So, you know, I assume these three cameras are looking at yeah. for the dust. The three cameras from the top will be covering the uh, fiber as such. If there is any dust or any particles that, that might come over here. And these two cameras are uh, looking at the flange and also the fiber. If in case, if there is any loose fiber uh, that, that might come here, that can cause a, because, you know, typically the issue comes near the flange itself. Most of the defect comes near flange. So these two cameras will be looking at both okay. the flanges. So you're kind of zooming in on the flange edge, Correct. the spool edge, and then that helps you capture any loose ends as well as any unevenness in the Correct. Uh, flange, uh, so in the spool. Right? Okay, so, and you see two cameras from the sides, one that's looking on either side of the... So there's one on, on, on the right hand right side. side and then there's one more on this on the left, which is looking at the two flanges. Am I right? Great, okay. So, Vignesh, how small are these defects? So, the smallest defect size is 100 microns. You know, we have to capture dust even if it's for 100, mm, 100 microns of size. And uh, 100 microns, yeah. okay. So, 100 microns and so that is pretty small. So, we need to capture a large res resolution image. So, what are the resolution of the cameras? Just to, you know, capture the image of the fiber and the flange, internal part of this thing, we are using 5 20 MP camera along with the 112 MP camera from the back side. Oh, there's one more camera one more, in the back. One more camera okay. in the back. So, let's look at that. So, what is this camera? So, basically, capture? you know, uh, during the winding, there are chances that, you know, there might be uneven winding. When you touch it, you can feel that. Yeah, you yeah. Okay. So, the then, so it's looking at the edge of the hmm. spool so that it's identifying any unevenness in the... It's very difficult to be identified with the, you know, conventional method. So, we, what we are doing is we are uh, finding the profile by using a uh, backlight. So, uh, by referring to the backlight, we can identify yeah, you see the, the shadow. Got yeah. it. So, there's a backlight which gives you only the profile of this edge and it you can see the uh, edge uh, hmm. pretty sharply and then if there's any any, de any de deviation in the so if it's not a straight line yeah we can identify that we can look at you know there's any deviations okay great so uh, seems pretty simple enough so mm -hmm. now uh, let's look at how uh, the yeah. process works so to be able to identify any kind of uh, defects the first thing that you have to do is collect enough images so an AI based system is is to capture enough uh, images that allows you to train an AI model. So the first step in any image acquisition mm -hmm. is data collection, mm -hmm. right? So how, how are we doing data collection here? So we have us? built a specific app for the, uh, that purpose itself. We uh, call it the data collection app. So this is a data collection UI. This is how to collect, how, look, how it looks. So can I start? The yeah, I can press that button. All right. So I'm going to start the cycle. So, since we are just doing the data collection, this is an entirely different program that we are switching. So, we are switching the program by the uh, via PC itself. But, uh, you know, uh, we are just uh, collecting all the images at a shot. Uh, this button is just to collect all the images. It will come come in the data collection UI. Okay, so, but doesn't it's not turning? Uh, no, uh, while data collection, it will not turn. Only in the inferencing, it is automatic process. Data collection, we need some specific defects to be captured. Right? So... Okay, so this is the... Yeah. The spool edge. Mm. Okay, so you can see. So the here we can see the profile. You know there are. Bumps okay, so just to be clear, this is the light. Yeah, this is the backlight. And this is the uh, actual spool. So you can see the profile of the sides. Correct. So that's the top camera that's oh, behind. Correct. And then the three cameras which are taking images off the spool. Yeah, so this, this is, is on the, the side. Side cameras. So, is it possible to zoom in? Yeah. yeah so you can, can see. In. Can you see the defects on this? Does it so have this, any defects? This is one of the defects. You know, we can see a white region, right? Okay. Oh, so, so this, this is one of the defects. You know, this yeah, is this caused due to physical pressure. No, it's so a this and this, part. yeah, this is the defect. Um, how about the and spool? And also, this is the defect region. That's a defect. Okay. Yeah, close this. Okay, and this is the other side. Yeah, this is the other side. Yeah, you can see the. There are some defects. You can see the defects here. You know, this is a glue residue. The glue which residue. Which is not desirable. Okay. And uh, it's the top camera. This is how individual fiber looks. It doesn't have much of a uh, dust or something. But 
So is it this okay? Is there any? No, this one doesn't have much. This dust. doesn't have any dust. Okay. Can so can we look at the other one? So this is a good sample. Yeah, it's a good sample. Got it. So then once you capture these, what you, what what are you doing here? So. So after you know uh, we have eight different cameras uh, that uh, that are capturing images. Mm -hmm. After that, we will see individual defect. You know, individually uh, the operator has to see each individual. Defect. So the operator looks at each individual image mm -hmm. and then identifies whether they are good or bad. Correct. And if it's bad, it he you has have to, to classify it. You yes. have to select what particular defect it is. So if it has a dust, if it's actually good, if it has a loose winding, a scratch. Or if he's confused, yeah, if he's he confused, can also he can say select that. this one. Okay, uh, and but then once you do that, yeah, once he does that, yeah, for example, this is a good, good, this uh, is a good sample. Good fiber. Okay. So I'm selecting as good. Then he has to just you know select, do it for all the images. But this has the glue residue on the yeah. side, right? For example, this has a glue residue. Yeah. Oh, so, so you do it for every for image. For individual image, we have for to every do image. It. Okay. Because you know this will be used for training. Uh, yeah. So each image you have to annotate. Yeah. If, for example, this one has some black marks. We are selecting as black mark. And after that, we have to, you know, just save the checked images. So once these images are captured and then a judgment is found, so mm -hmm. the images are then sent to a PC. The PC is in the back here, yeah. right? So let's take a look at that PC if you can see that. So this is... Ah, uh, okay. So that's the PC in the back and that's, that's basically inferencing the app the images that are taken from these cameras and then so the output of the pc what happens so if a defect is found what, what happens? happens so once once uh, once the pc you know when an interesting ui gives us an output as it is defective the output is given to the plc so from the plc it will be demonstrate it will be showing in the uh, okay so tower. there is a visual output it, yeah. it flashes red and then along with a beep it along, along with the beep, beep and then the operator knows that this is a defective mm -hmm. sample and he keeps it uh, he can send aside. it for reworking Got it. Great. Thank you, Vignesh. Thank you.